welcome back to the channel. Um, put together a little video of a trout trip I did. I did not catch a lot. I did not catch. I'm 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 on a streak. I don't know if you guys ever do this. You go four or five trips and you, you're on the struggle bus, you know. <laughs> and that's kind of what I'm going to uh, through right now. I've done this before, and I'll pop out of it. And also, I had such success in Florida. Um, you know, the yin and the yang, the karma, I gotta pay for it somehow. So, <laughs> so I'm, right now I'm kind of struggling. But, uh, and also, uh, something you guys may not know, I may have alluded to it. Um, about 15 years ago, I started doing a lot more bass fishing, smallmouth, largemouth, <clears throat> warm water species. And, I mean, that's, that's all I did. And so I'm real rusty with the, with the trout fly fish. And I mean, I used to, I used to, I used to fly fish for trout like five times a week. I would work second shift. I'd get up early in the morning, fish for about three hours. And I would do that, you know, day after day after day. I mean, I got, I got to the point where on a certain river, I could, I could name the fish. No, <laughs> but, uh, but I could bring friends of mine up there and say, See that rock over there? There's a 16 inch brown trout behind it, and, he'll, and this is the fly he'll take, you know. And they'll do it and catch the fish, you know. And so I'm real rusty. I'm real rusty, but I'm just having a lot of fun rediscovering places I haven't fished in 20, 15 years. And uh, so, you, so you're probably getting tired of hearing me say that a lot. <laughs> I hadn't fished this since, you know, and all that kind of stuff. And so it's kind of. It's kind of like you get on Facebook and you find your, your old girlfriend and she's still hot. <laughs> don't do that. Don't, don't do that. But uh, all, all you'd be doing is keeping divorce lawyers uh, busy. And so that's what I'm doing. So I'm going back to, to my old love, my old flame. And um, I had... I had I, I just now started you know making videos yeah obviously y'all can tell that and um, what happened was when I made when I decided to go on the Florida trip the first one I was like I'm gonna go to places I've never been before I'm gonna buy a GoPro because I'll be honest with you up until this time when I go fishing I don't want to be distracted by you know filming this and filming that and so I don't really put a massive amount of effort into it. But the technology's gotten so much better. It's gotten cheaper, and it's just really easy to put a, a, a chest mount on or, or a head mount on, and just go and do it. Now editing is that's a pain. <clears throat> but anyway, um, so anyway, I hope you guys are enjoying my little excursions, and um, I'm glad you guys can come along with me. See you on the water. Well, here we are, off on another excursion. <clears throat> oh goodness! Now if I can just find the water. <clears throat> well, again, <clears throat> this little stretch of this river, I have not fished. I don't even remember the last time I fished it. That was a long time ago. I'd say this stretch right here, probably about 20 years. I can get there from here. I might not be able to get there from here. Ah, good night alive. Whew. Things I do for my viewing public. <laughs> And just as long as I don't find any yellow jacket nests, I'll be okay. That is actually probably more dangerous than bears. Very few people get messed up by a bear. But every year they sure get into the wasp hornets and yellow jackets. And sometimes they die. Whew. This is a little creek. Again, I'm in Western North Carolina. 
I'm not too far from that little creek I fished that video where I fished and fished behind somebody and didn't catch nothing but little itsy bitsy ones well this creek isn't far from there now this won't have any brook trout this is pretty much all rainbows with an occasional brown trout but I don't think I've ever caught a brookie out of here Whew. sure is pretty come on get out I tried a different place earlier and there were so many fishermen I just kept, kept running into one after another and my son just gave it up I said forget it and I know this doesn't get fished hardly at all or at least rare. Come on. That's a perfect spot. Now right, let's get up here. They might not come up. These fish are pretty small. So, we'll see. We had a, uh, had a cool down last night. And they fish usually don't really like that. But I'm seeing some natural flies on the water. So, nothing's coming up and eating him. <laughs> Where's the fun in that? A little March Brown, I think. Oh, come on, fish. Yeah, there's some little gray flies hatching a lot like what I'm using. But I ain't. I'm not seeing anything get taken. Wow. We're talking crickets. Man, it should have been, it should be right in there, waiting for something to come down, and come up, kill. Come on, fish. There he went. And he turned mine down. <laughs> there we go. Now that's more like it. Uh-uh. No, he did not. <laughs> oh well. It was fun while it lasted. Didn't last very long. But at least I know they are rising. Ah. ah, Derek, get it where you want. Dang it. There. No. There. Yeah, that's it. Now I'm going to get hung up. There, that's, there you go. Yeah, it didn't do any good. Whew. Go up, find another good pool. There we go. Yeah, I used to, I used to scoff at people that use wading staffs. Well, not no more, I don't. The older I get, the more it sounds like a really good idea.
kind of rusty doing this. I usually fish out of my canoe. And uh, not used to wading these trout streams. I used to do it all the time. At least, at least once a week. Come on, fish, you should have been there. That's a perfect spot. Ah. Yeah. Ah, oh, thank you. Come on, had to be a fish back here. Kind of shallow, but no. No, that did it. Man, I'm clumsy today. I mean, I don't know what's going on. Whew. Oh, there's got a big one in here. Most of these fish are small in here. I used to be a member of Trout Unlimited years ago. And uh, a lot of us volunteered to help the Help DNR do an, do an electro shocking to see what was in here. They do that like every five years or so. I, I don't know, but so I helped them electro shock. And you can see what's really in here. And there's a lot of five, six inch fish. A lot of them. All right. That should have been a fish. Come on, fish. I know you're in there. Good looking hole. Oh man, it's super deep. Watch out, he's getting in the back end. Oh, look at that jump, like a tarp. Oh, whoo. Okay. Well, I guess I'm just into small fish here lately. See a little bitty rainbow. Ah. Thank you. Well, at least one of you showed up. Well, I can't really. Oh, good. Okay. <laughs> it doesn't matter today. Oh, I got to get this undone. You never know when they'll be back in something like that. Oh, I saw one rise. Get into a better position. Not.
any of you guys just started um, fly fishing for trout and you want to learn I mean learn from from the master uh, there's a guy back in the 40s and 50s he wrote books on fly fishing uh, Vincent Marini <laughs> Marinero uh, <laughs> and he, he wrote a book called the modern dry fly code and if you want to get good at fly fishing with dries if you can find a copy he had to have written that in the, I guess his early 50s <clears throat> and um, I've read a lot of trout fishing books and uh, wow he was he was a master he fished the limestone streams of Pennsylvania uh, and those are some of the most educated toughest trout to catch on planet earth it's right up there they say is the spring creeks out west you know and those from what i've never i've never done that but i've heard that is that's some hard to catch fish a modern dry fly coat probably been out of print forever you may have to buy a used one off amazon or something but uh highly recommend it now it hadn't helped me a whole lot <laughs> no <clears throat> i am i am rusty wow i fishing for large mouth and small mouth a lot and it's so different than fishing for trout look at the sea took one right there it took a natural i think my fly's too big again <laughs> like that other video but usually fish in these little small creeks they're not as picky I'm going, I'm going, I'm going to change it up. Uh, uh, yep. Well, you didn't take it all the way there. And I drifted that bigger fly through there a lot. Nothing. You know? And what, first cast right over there, he come up, pecked at it. I guess I just can't catch trout in there. <laughs> oh, got it. Goofball. Hit it. Kill it. Oh, man. Okay, this fish can drive me nuts. <laughs> Did y'all see that? Maybe somebody fishes this a lot more than I thought. Got edge of my kale. <laughs> Dang. I might have to try something different. A lot more realistic. This is not a very realistic fly. It's just a standard dry fly. He just ain't, man. That's one thing about that book I mentioned, The Modern Dry Fly Code. It talks about different styles of flies and what they, all these experiments he had to use in making flies to catch those, those real educated fish. I'm gonna have to change something else. I'm gonna use a parachute. Okay, see if this works. Doesn't look like it. 
That's a perfect drift. That's a perfect drift. This is an easy pull to get a perfect drift in there. Okay, that looks better. Don't tell me to quit. <laughs> yeah, you know, a lot of times that's what they do. They just all of a sudden, quit. And it's like someone turn the lights out. I don't think the fly is riding correctly. Let me see here. No, it's not. I got to mess with it. Ah. Looks good. Man, it looks like they just shut down. I'm not seeing them rise to naturals either. Right where he was at earlier. <laughs> oh man, it just shut down. Oh, <laughs> are messing with me I guess I, st I guess I still got the curse I don't know if y'all saw that video I did where the fish were rising like crazy and I didn't have a small enough fly and <laughs> I mean there was like 15 fish within casting distance just rising like crazy and I could not catch them to save my life I guess I'm still in that I don't know what you call it I'm in this rut fishless rut Come on, have pity. I'm gonna have a fun climb out of here. This is, <laughs> I would I would love to see, I don't know if y'all know who one rod one reel is. <laughs> He's a hoot. I really like him but he gets oh so dramatic. I would love to see him crawling up that. <laughs> wow. We gotta find another place. I think these Come on, come on, come on. It's a good spot. Yeah, it's gonna get me. I'm gonna do it. On the other side of that log. I'm gonna come up. Yeah, oh, did you see that? 
uh, not a bad little fish for this creek. Just can't get, like, just cannot get him over that. Oh, don't get in there. Don't, don't get, no, no, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. Okay, here's a little rainbow. Now, that's more like it right there. Ha. hard time there we go isn't that beautiful there you go he's he's good <laughs> now that finally i caught a fish <laughs> that was funny he he hit it hit at it while i was t taking it up that uh like he's on the on that uh log and I'm stuck on a log. <laughs> oh man, there could be another one over there. Oh, that's the way. Oh, cool. It worked. <laughs> Did it again. Went dancing on the water. He come up. That would have been fun. Trying to get him, trying to get him out of that, over that log. It wouldn't happen. That broke my. It's like my tippet. Oh no! I do it in again. <laughs> Trying to get up under there and get better. But anyway, let's try a knucklehead over here again. Maybe he's gotten complacent. No, he has not. He ain't coming up and looking at it. Of course, even though I'm standing right here, you see the little ri the riffle of water? He can't see me that good. Oh well. We'll find another place. Should have been there. <laughs> that looks perfect. Wow. I expected a small one. At least. No luck. Oh, <laughs> I picked it up to cast it, <laughs> and he was there. <clears throat> and then he went through the air. <sighs> Pretty little fish. Thank you. I knew, there, I knew there had to be one in here. Yeah. Sorry about the head jerk. I was, uh, stupid bugs crawling on my glasses. Well, that about wraps it up. Whew. I gotta get home. Oh, there's a much easier place over there. Oh, good. Good, 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 good. Pick your battles, you know. Well, see you later, River. I'll be back. Well guys, that was fun. Got a late, late start. I got an hour, 45 minute drive back. Ugh. So, anyway, it wraps it up. See you on the water. <clears throat>
these are the three flies I used. Um, you know, going starting from left to right. The far left one notice noticeably bigger than the other two, and that I wasn't getting a whole lot of action from it because it was too big. The middle one was really the right size, but if you look at that fly, it, and if you look at a picture of a real mayfly, it, it, it rides up real high on the, wa on the water. <clears throat> that's a really good fly for that style. That's, that's your standard dry fly style, of course. And it, it's great for rough water. Um, it doesn't sink very easy because it's just riding up high. But it, but from from underneath, from the fish's point of view, it's not very accurate because a mayfly lays with its with its belly on the water. So then I switch to the parachute, and if you notice that parachute, the way it's made, it allows that body to f sit on top of the water, and then you just got the wing post going up, and that's a lot more realistic. And that's the fly that I caught the the, the nice fish on, and um, and had a lot more action from. So uh, just thought I'd throw that out there. Anyway, take care, guys.